Kentucky deputies allegedly found a bunch of stolen stuff inside of this guy's house, including a car jack, power tools, catalytic converters, stolen guns, money, and 100 rounds of ammunition, as well as some valuable personal items inside of his house. And they want to make sure that those stolen valuable items get back to their rifle owners tonight. You can feel a bit safer about leaving your car at the Sacramento International Airport overnight. After Wednesday, the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says it arrested a man who it believes may have been involved in a few dozen car break-ins and catalytic converter thefts there at the airport. Obviously right now they're opportunistic, right, and they're going to go in places where uh, they feel they can get away with it and the airport is not that place. 34 year old Ryan Carey was arrested and booked into the Sacramento County Jail after deputies found a bunch of stolen items in his residence, including four stolen handguns, 100 rounds of ammunition, two catalytic converters and power tools. So a lot of it were the tools that he used. He used, I mean, obviously some automotive tools like a car jack, some bolt cutters and other items used to commit these catalytic converter thefts. It doesn't take much time. It doesn't take much effort. It doesn't take any real sophisticated tools and for them they're opportunistic vultures and that's what they're doing they're preying upon people when they can't defend themselves they're you know coming out in the middle of the night while normal hard-working people are, are sleeping so they can go to work the next day and that's who they're victimizing and that's why it's really important for us to make sure that we are seeing this through and getting the bad guys out airport officials say they're always watching for these types of criminals we have cameras everywhere we have eyes everywhere you know at some point you're going to get caught sergeant Gandhi says the sheriff's office wants any other victim of car break-ins or catalytic converter theft there at the airport to come forward with any information that may lead to more charges against Kerry. We don't think that these are the only crimes he's committed and that's why we're coming out and trying to get this message out to the public that hey maybe you've seen him on your surveillance videos maybe you've been victimized and didn't think to report it. Uh, we want to make sure that all these items that we've recovered go to the rightful owner. Back out here live again here is a picture of Ryan Carey. If you have any surveillance footage or evidence of crimes he may have committed, reach out to the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live at the Sacramento International Airport, covering local news that matters, Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News.